Hello, my name is Matthew Howlett, and this is the final video in a three-part series on converting Pascal VOC formatted datasets to Cocoa datasets. So in this part, we are going to run the VOC to Cocoa Python script, which will convert our VOC formatted dataset into Cocoa. Um, this is the fourth part maybe of the written guide, which you can find at this GitHub repo, Howl0893 Custom Object Detection Datasets. Uh, the Python script is provided by Yukio's GitHub account, and there he explains how to use the script, but I'm also going to do that within this video. So open up an Anaconda prompt and navigate to the Python folder within your custom object detection dataset directory. Next, we want to copy the Python command to run the VOC to Coco script. You got to be careful here when you paste some of these. There's a space here in the document I wrote, but when I converted it to PDF, the space wasn't captured. So you'll want to scroll back to annotations ID argument and add a space between the argument identifier and then also a space after the labels directory and the output argument and then you'll need one between the coco instances card test json file and the extension identification so then you can go ahead and run that and our coco instances card test json file was created so we can find that in the annotations folder. The last thing we need to do is copy the data info cards JSON content, which is provided in the annotations folder. Just copy that to the beginning of the JSON file we just created. Add a space and then save that. And you have a Coco data set. So if you scroll through this, you have everything you need. So then you're going to want to do the same thing for the train set, which just involved changing everywhere it says test here to train. So in the, the annotation directory argument, change it to train. And you'll notice here that our annotation directory for the data set we downloaded, the card data set, all of the XML files which have the bounding box information are within the image folder and that's why we chose that directory. So then you're going to want to change the test.txt file to train.txt file. The labels can stay the same because we have the same classes and then we want to change the output name to train. Run that again and this data set has a little bit more images, 527. So then you're going to want to do the same thing for this one. Copy the data info cards JSON content and paste it to the beginning of the file we just created. Add a space and save it. And that will conclude the video tutorial series on converting Pascal VLC to Cocoa. Thank you for watching.